Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So using the Node.js up to now we have did the server listening and also the routing also we have did it. So this all if you try to see whenever we want to parse the data and if you want to do. So we are e listening to the event listeners on off data on off end and the request body we are using the buffer to parse the request body. So these are all so much of raw logic we are writing which are available in the Node.js. So the logic which are writing in the Node.js is fine. <coughs> it's okay. So but in order to do a single routing so we are writing a logic in a such way that so there are so many of lines involved in that one. So now using the frameworks so we have plenty of Node.js frameworks available in the market. So the out of that one the most famous one or the most popular one is the Express.js. So using the Express.js, so we can reduce all the boilerplate code and that code will be handled by the Express.js in the behind the scenes, the Express.js will be handling all those code. So why we use this Express.js is it is a framework. So it doesn't come with this one. So with the Node.js by default, we need to install that Express.js. It's a something like external package, third party package, just like the Nodemon. So how the Nodemon we have installed it in the same scenario, we will be installing this Express.js. If you open here Express.js, so this is the Express.js, and here this is our uh, popular framework. So right now the version at the time of this recording it is running was 4.18.1, so 4.18.1, and here if you try to see installing, so how we can install this one. So here you can use this npm install Express. And if you don't want to be added in the dependency list means in the package.json, you can use no save. Normally it will save it in the as a dependency. <coughs> this is how we will be installing Express.js. So Express.js is one of the popular framework. So which gives us the to write the code very easily. So there is no need of for us to write the raw logic code. So we can write the here see Express is a minimal and flexible Node.js web application. Framework that provides a robust set of features for web and mobile application. So this is the main thing and <clears throat> there are also other frameworks which are uh, alternative to the Express.js also. So here you will be able to see the plenty of these things. So feathers, these are the things are there which are more famous. So out of this one Nest.js. So this is also one of the famous one which was uh, written in the TypeScript. So you can use the TypeScript uh, if you are fond, if you are favorite of TypeScript means you can use this <coughs> Nest.js and with the TypeScript you can develop the code. So here if you try to see Nest.js. So this is the Nest.js. Using this Nest.js you can develop the this is also another framework alternative to the Express.js. If you are favorite in the TypeScript means you can use this one. And also we have another one something like Adonis.js. So this is also one of the uh, this is also fully featured framework. So this is something like it looks like uh, Laravel. So if you want to use it this one also you can use it. So if anybody are uh, what I can say, um, something like interested in the PHP Laravel, if you have uh, knowledge on that one means, you can use this uh, Adonis JS and you can implement this one. So it looks something like similar to Laravel, but the Laravel creators and these creators are different. So it, it was inspired from the Laravel. <coughs> so these are some of the uh, alternatives are there from the uh, Express JS. So if you want, you can uh, Google it and you can see. It. So now let's try to create a new project and try to install the Express JS and start the server and afterwards we'll try we'll learn one by one the concepts that are involved in the express.js so first i am creating a new project let's go into this one here i am creating a new folder node iphon express i am giving node iphon express app i will try to give this one so let's open this one in the command prompt i am opening this one in the command prompt and now if you try to see <coughs> this is the command prompt here first in order to start the project we know that first we need to initialize the npm package so we need to initialize the project by using npm init so i have used this npm init so it will ask you as you know that it will ask you some series of questions so let's press enter it let's take the default things so i don't want to uh, change these all things so okay fine let it create now open this one in the visual studio code so i have opened this one in the visual studio code so I am closing this one. So this is our new project which we are trying to start it in the Express.js. 
now we got the package dot json so what we'll try to do is we'll try to install some of the things that is nothing but a node mod npm install node mod so node mod what it will try to do it will automatically restart the server whenever we change the whenever any file is changed in that directory in the project directory actually this should be installed as a <coughs> development dependency why because this doesn't have any production uh, to work with so this doesn't have anything production to work with so we are using it purely for the development purpose because of that reason i am using nodeban so nodeban has been successfully installed now let's try to install the express js so in order to install the express js you can add npm install express so there is no need to give hyphen hyphen save or hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev why because this is not a development dependency this is a production dependency why because the node js application entire thing is dependent on the express js so that is the reason express j express is a production dependency now if you want you can also provide hyphen hyphen save or otherwise by default if you don't mention anything so it will not add it in the package.json file so let's try to press enter so it will try to take some time to install this express so now we have totally we have installed the two third party packages we have learned it from our node js session first one is the node mod and another one is the express now we have successfully installed the node mod and the express let's go to the visual studio code and in this package.json if i try to open the package.json here we are able to see dev dependency the node mod and also as a production dependency these are express so which are which are uh, production dependencies you, here it will come so which are which packages are in the development dependencies means it will come under the dev dependencies so this is the thing you need to understand it if you don't provide hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev option means it will be automatically added in the dependency if you provide it as in say hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev it will be provided in the dev dependency if you don't if you if you provide it as hyphen hyphen no hyphen save means it will not add it in the package.json so that's it now let's try to add a script command so we already learned this one so i am using start so here i can use node mod and i will use app.js as we already will be using this no app no, no app.js i will try to use this one only so let's create an app.js here <coughs> i am creating app.js and in this app.js first one what we require is we require express okay express is equal to so what i will try to do require express so we have installed it as a node module package so here we can add directly like this so there is no need for us to mention the a relative path like that whereas for in the router.js for the router.js we have mentioned the relative path but here this direct one directly searches in the node modules as we have installed it it will able to find it very easily so previously what we have did we have created we have used this constant http so here we have used something like constant http is equal to require of http we have used it and for this one we have used something like constant app is equal to so this is our node js code actually http dot create server and this one will review give you a function of request and response and in this one we have written the the code so whatever the um, router routers we want to implement it so we have implemented in this create server and afterwards we have did app dot listen to the port of three thousand and there will be a callback if you want you can use this callback so console dot log you can you can use it. and here you can write server started at port 3000 i can use it like this so this is our traditional node js implementation of the code now i have included the express js now if you want to use it there is no need for us to include this http okay and here i can write something like express okay that's it so the express will take care of all those things creating the server and all the things now here it will be stored in the app so this is a wrapper express is a wrapper and it contains all the things here and here i can listen to the port 3000 and server port is started so uh, let's save this one and if you try to run this one npm start and here you will be able to see the node mon will try to run it automatically and here automatically the server will be started see here the server started at the port 3000 now we have excluded lot of code here 
and we have made use of this express method which is available in this one the constructor method something like that and here we have used this app using this app we are listening to the particular code so this is the first installation and initialization of the server using the express js and later on we'll try to learn what is a middleware how and how we can write the middlewares and all those things we'll try to learn one by one hope you understood about the installation of the express in the node js if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you